Hey everyone and welcome back. What we're going to talk about today is how to understand your takeaway a heck of a lot better than what you do right now. And what that, that, what that really means is becoming aware. The more you're aware in the way that your, your mind processes information, if you're aware of what you want to do, then this is going to clean itself up in no time at all. So what am I talking about? Most golfers, or I should say a lot of golfers, they get up here and they're like, they flip this club head inside way too soon so when they're at a dress they want to flip it they go like this their first move is like this and they whip that club head inside so what we really need to understand is to have a solution that is going to allow us to understand how to control these nuances or whatever because the takeaway is extremely important you know what I mean so you're just gonna be here and your objective has to be you have to let the lead hand win the race. And I only mean to right here. So at this position right here, it is like the club head is still splitting the center of my hands. So as you can see from right here, this club head is still splitting the center of my hands, the club head. So all of a sudden, if I do this, and I pulled it inside, you can see how this club head is on the trail side of this lead hand. Pulled it in, club head is on the trail side of the hand. I do it right, the club head is splitting the center of my hand. Now why is this important? Because if you do this, a, a, a cause, it's gonna cause all kind of cascading problems to happen in your golf swing. So a really simple drill is take the lead hand and just go like this, just moving into this takeaway position like that. So you're gonna be here, I'm gonna move it down. And when you look at your hand, even though this is, this is just a good check mark, the three nails on these three fingers have to be, which they will be, they have to be on the left side of the club head. But the second that goes, even though those nails are still gonna be there, if I could picture my hand in the takeaway is only going to go to this point right here. And these three nails, of course, they're gonna be on the trail side of the shaft. But at this point, if I could draw a straight line going this way for me, I cannot let the right hand win the race. And this is really a problem for all kinds of golfers everywhere because they turn with their right side, their, or their trail side, and they're, they're just doing it to where they're setting themselves up for all kinds of problems. So this biggest move in the takeaway is once I take that club away to here, that club head needs to be splitting the center of my hands. So if I'm here, my hands are going to be like this, right? So if I left my hands like on the sides like this and I took the club away, you can see how the shaft and the club head are splitting my hands. But if I go like this, the sh even though my hands are cocked like this, we're talking about this angle. It just the takeaway. We don't want to go any further than this. And at this point, that club head is in the center of my hands or it's still in this straight line approach with this angle. So if I'm whipping this club in, and here's our angle that we have to be at, the second I feel like this club head during the takeaway is getting behind on the trail side of the club head, I'm in trouble because you have to control this with your lead hand. So all of a sudden it's like, aha, there you go. I put my other hand down, that club head is in the center of what I wanna do. We all get excited and we're like, we get up there and we're gonna you know, hit this shot and all these great wonderful things and I pull this club away. And the second I flip this thing inside, I am in no man's land as far as the sequence of events that need to happen. So, the best way to think about this is the right, the trail hand cannot overtake the lead hand in the takeaway. So the lead hand is going here and the trail hand is just along for the ride to this point. So it's simple. We're like, ah, the lead hand has to re win the race to this point right here. 
And it's as simple as that. So when you become aware of what are you really trying to accomplish, we're trying to set this sequence of events to happen in a certain type of order. But if you flip this club inside, you're going to be in all kinds of trouble. You break down the sequence, all kinds of bad things are going to happen. So our simple thought, do not let the trail hell in hand win the race during the takeaway. And if all of a sudden you're going to start feeling how it is this lead hand that is allowing us to, you know, make this takeaway move. Because if you're right here and you're saying, okay, I'm going to let the trail hand go like this, there are not too many people that are naturally, instinctively going to do that. But what they are going to do, because normally for a right-handed player, my trail hand being my right side, is my dominant side. So all of a sudden, when I go, I'm letting my dominant side, my dominant hand, pull this club inside. But when I can think of it as being my lead hand, which for me, right-handed, that's my left hand, that's the weaker side of my body. So all of a sudden, when I'm doing this and I'm just letting the right hand or the trail hand come along for the ride, it starts getting real simple to make this takeaway. And it's not all these different things that you have to worry about or that the different devices or training things that are out there to help you. It is very, very simple when we can say, okay, I don't want that club head to not be splitting my hands at this position. That's the goal. That's what I have to be aware of. The only way I can do this is by using my weaker hand, which is going to be the the lead side for most of us. Ah, now I just put the right hand on. Ah, put the right hand on. All day long, this is where you're going to get. Because if that club head ever gets behind that part of our, my lead hand, or my, yeah, my lead hand, it starts working behind it right off of the bat, we're going to get in trouble. Now we know that when we get here and then I'm... Um, this is the way that Hogan's going to the top. We understand that. But our takeaway is just simply that move right there. And when it is this move right here, you can now see how the trail hand to this point is just along for the ride. So give it a shot. And when you're looking at it visually, visualize these three nails. And it's to this point, those three nails have to be on the trail side of the club head now this is our straight liner we're working at because if i pull this inside and i came back of course my nails are going to be on the the trail side of the club head but we have to be aware our goal is to take this away where nothing is going on it's just simple as this but it requires the lead hand so the drill Lead hand, lead hand, put the right on, come back, lead hand, see what that feels like. Be aware of what you're trying to do because it is just when the club flips inside, it is the trail side, the stronger side of our body that is taking over. So we have to train how to move the lead hand, let the trail hand be along for the ride. And this is going to give us this no movement, no rolling, no anything. It's just going to be right there every single time. All right, guys, try it out for yourself. We'll see you in the next video.